What's going on guys, Super Insane 18 here, and I am back with some more Marincess combos. I promised you guys that I would, but I am actually sick, so I apologize if I sound and look like crap. But I like to be a man of my word, so as promised, here are four more must-know Marincess combos. So if you watched the last video, you'll know that I said most of the one card blue tang combos can be done without blue tang, and I figured it was obvious, but I did have some people ask, so I'm going to go ahead and show you guys just for good measure. We're going to start by normal summoning out the seahorse and linking it off into our copy of blue slug. Blue slug will activate to add back our seahorse, which we can then just immediately special summon. We can then link the seahorse away into our sea angel and activate the sea angel effect, adding us our copy of battle ocean. And then we can take the sea angel and the blue slug and go ahead and link those into the coral anemone. Coral anemone is able to reborn any of our Marincess since they're all under 15, but let's go ahead and use its effect to just reborn the seahorse. And then before we continue, we'll activate our battle ocean. Now we can take the anemone and the seahorse and go into our copy of Coral Triangle. And then the anemone will activate, adding the seahorse back to our hand, which will allow us to use the triangle to pitch the seahorse and add our copy of Marincess Wave. Uh, now, so now that you pretty much know how that starts, where you're just going to seahorse into uh, slug, slug add back to the seahorse. I'm sure you guys can figure out how to do the other combos as well. I just wanted to make sure that you guys knew. All right, now for combo number two, it is going to be another one card blue tank combo, and this might be the best one card blue tank combo because it allows you to not only search your wave, but also end on the Aqua Argonaut, which I didn't show you guys how to do in the last one. So let me show you now. We're going to start by normal summoning out the blue tang, and we're going to use its effect to send our copy of Sleepy Maiden to the graveyard. So last time we never sent the Sleepy Maiden, but that's important for this combo. Now we'll go ahead and we will link off the blue tang into the copy of blue slug. And we're actually not going to activate the blue tang effect here just yet. We will activate the blue slug and add back our sleepy maiden. Now the reason for this is because we are trying to play around something like Ash Blossom, which is much more relevant than something like Haunted Mansion, uh, because the ghost spell in Haunted Mansion can stop this, but I'm not really scared of that. So now we're going to activate the Sleepy Maiden, summon it by targeting out our Blue Slug, and then we can link both of these away into a copy of Coral Anemone. Now that we have the Coral Anemone, we will activate its effect to grab our copy of Blue Tang, and then we'll use the Blue Tang to link into our copy of Sea Angel. Now this is why we didn't use the Blue Tang effect yet, because we're going to use it now to chain block the Sea Angel. So we'll go Sea Angel Chain Link 1 and Blue Tang Chain Link 2, as always, we're going to intentionally make sure we miss the blue tang, just to show you guys that it does not matter, but then the sea angel will resolve and add us our copy of Dive. Here we can go ahead and link the sea angel and the anemone into our copy of Coral Triangle, and the anemone will activate, letting us add back our copy of blue tang. Here we can activate the effect of Coral Triangle, pitch our blue tang to add us a copy of Marincess Wave, and then we will go ahead and activate Dive, summoning back out either of the Sleepy Maiden or the Blue Tang, does not matter. Because then what we're going to do is link the Coral Triangle and the Blue Tang into our copy of Aqua Argonaut. Now, this doesn't really look good because we don't have the Battle Ocean, meaning that we don't get to equip three, but because we sent the Sleepy Maiden at the start of our combo, we can use its graveyard effect, which a lot of people forget about, which is to banish it and equip a Marincess Link monster to a Marincess monster that we control. And so now we have a Searched Wave, plus at least one Spell Trap Negate that's gonna get us Recursion for our next turn. Combo number three is not necessarily Nibiru proof, but it does help you play around Nibiru pretty easily. So I showed you guys the three card anti Nibiru combo in the last video, so I want to show you guys this one as well. What we're going to do is start out by summoning the Pascalus as our first summon and using its effect to summon the Blue Tang as our second summon. The Blue Tang effect will activate sending a copy of Seahorse to our graveyard, and then we can use the Blue Tang to go ahead and summon out the Blue Slug. This is summon number three. We'll activate Slug as Chain Link 1, targeting the seahorse and tang as chain link 2. The tang will miss because I want to show you guys that it does not matter if we hit. And then we can add back our copy of seahorse. So we've committed three summons. For summon number four, we are going to go ahead and link the Pascalus into our sea angel. And sea angel will activate, getting us a copy of battle ocean. Now we will activate the battle ocean and then we can go ahead and link the blue slug and the sea angel into our copy of Crystal Heart, which is our fifth summon. We will activate the effect of Battle Ocean, equipping two of our Marincess monsters, making this up to 1400 attack, which isn't really that good, 
but if they try to Nibiru at this point, Crystal Heart says that it is unaffected while it is in the mon main mon or extra monster zone. So they cannot Nibiru this card. Now what we can do is we can go ahead and special in the Seahorse to his own points too, which if they Nibiru here, you're only losing the Seahorse, so you still have an unaffected monster. But if they don't, you can go ahead and use the Crystal Heart and the Seahorse to summon out a copy of Coral Anemone. Then we will activate the Battle Ocean and we will equip the two except for the Crystal Heart. And the reason this is important is because now you cannot be nibiru again because the effect of Battle Ocean says any Marincess Link in the Extra Zone made using Crystal Heart is unaffected by monster effects. So you cannot be nibiru yet and now this is up to 34? Yeah, 3400 attack. So now we can use the Coral and Enemy effect to summon back out our Crystal Heart, which again, they could Nibiru here and you would lose your Crystal Heart, but that's not the end of the world because you still have an unaffected 3400 attack beater. And now here is where you can do a split line of play. You're going to go ahead and use the Crystal Heart and the Anemone, and you can go into either your Coral Triangle or your Aqua Argonaut. Now, the reason this changes is if you want to search your wave, you're going to go into the triangle. If you just want a spell trap negate, you're going to go into the Aqua Argonaut, but either way, you're going to go ahead and equip three of your uh, Marincess off of the Battle Ocean, and you also get the Coral Anemone effect to add back any of these, probably the Blue Tang to your hand. So again, if you want to use the triangle, you would just pitch whatever you add back. If you want to use the Argonaut, you just have an unaffected spell trap negate. And for the fourth and final combo, it is not a combo that you can do in the profile that I shared because I'm not playing the frogs, but the combo is very cool and definitely worth sharing. So I want to show you guys because it's honestly making me consider playing the frogs, but it is a two card combo with swap frog and seahorse. We're going to start by normal summoning out our seahorse and linking it away into our copy of blue slug. We will activate the blue slug effect to add our copy of seahorse back to our hand and then we can use the swap frog to discard our seahorse and summon itself out and then when it's summoned using its effect to go ahead and send the ronin totem to the graveyard we can then take the blue slug and the swap frog and summon out our copy of coral and enemy and activate the coral and enemy effect to summon out swap frog now swap frog send is not once per turn so since it was summoned we can use its effect send a another copy of swap frog and here we're going to activate the ronin totem banishing our Swap Frog and summoning it out from our graveyard. Here we can use the Coral Anemone and the Ronin Totem, and this will let us summon out our copy of Marbled Rock. And then the Coral Anemone will activate, adding us back our copy of Seahorse. Now we can use the Swap Frog effect to return itself to hand as cost, and then activate its effect again, summoning it by discarding out the Seahorse, and getting one more send, we will send our last Swap Frog. Here we can activate the effect of Ronin Totem once more, banishing our last Swap Frog to summon out the Ronin Totem, and then we can go ahead and overlay these into a copy of Totally Awesome. Now we can activate the Marbled Rock effect to target the Seahorse and add it back to our hand, and then we can special summon out the Seahorse because we have not used that effect yet, and use it to Link Summon into our copy of Sea Angel. Here the Sea Angel will activate and add us a copy of Battle Ocean, which we will immediately activate. And then now that we have the Battle Ocean up, we will use the Sea Angel and the Marbled Rock to go into our copy of Aqua Argonaut and activate the effect of Battle Ocean, equipping three Marincess monsters to the Aqua Argonaut. And now this is our full board. And the reason this is really cool is because not only do we have our Spell Trap Negate and our Totally Awesome Negate, but when we pass turn and it goes to our opponent's standby, we are going to activate the effect of Totally Awesome, detaching one of the material to summon out the Dupe Frog. And this puts our opponent in a position where they cannot attack us because the Aqua Argonaut says that they have to attack this, and the Dupe Frog says that they have to attack the Dupe Frog, so they cannot issue any attack, which means not only do we have two negates, but we are locked out as well. And there you guys have it. That is going to be four more must-know Marincess combos. Hopefully you guys enjoyed, because if you did, you know the deal. Make sure to subscribe, hit the notification bell, like, comment, share with your friends, and maybe consider supporting me on Patreon, because for just a dollar, you can support the channel in a way that I would never be able to tell you how much I fully appreciate. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you in the next one.